Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to learn about aligning your text within Excel sheet. So previously we have learned about uh, the formatting of the text, right? Or changing the font size, style, etc. Now there is a possibility that you want to align your text according to the needs, right? You want to align center at the top, at bottom, etc. So how you are going to do that within Excel? Pretty simple, easy, just follow along and you will be pro at alignment and all the options that are available within Excel, right? Now this was the sample text that we took in the last tutorial as well. Now say for example, at the moment this text is aligned in the left, right? So if I highlight or select any of the cell which has the values or the text there in the alignment section at the ribbon, you will see that the icons of the alignment get automatically selected, right? So if you, if I highlight, you will see that this is top align and middle align and low bottom align. Then this is left, then this is center and right align, right? So horizontally and vertically, these are six options that you can basically choose to align the text accordingly, okay? So so sample text 5 is bottom aligned right in terms of vertical uh, alignment and then the left alignment if I want to change it to center you will see I just need to click on this little icon it's got center aligned and similarly vertically if I want to middle align it I choose the second option right so now if I expand this cell you will see this particular text is middle aligned if I choose it top you will see it has moved top if I move it bottom vertically this particular text will move at the bottom so these are six options here right now these two are the indentation so say for example i want to increase and decrease the indent so after aligning i want to increase the indent then simply choose that and it will reset basically so say for example I choose this particular text right and I want to indent it in the right you will see that it indents to the right the way or the amount of time you select the indentation okay this is for the orientation so if you want to change the orientation you want to rotate your text vertically and different you know angles then you can choose that as well with this shortcut okay so in terms of this particular let me align this to center and if I want to indent this particular text right so you'll see that as soon as you will indent or click on indent it will reset this center orientation or center alignment it will go to the left line and then it will start indentation from there okay so that's about the indentation you can increase or decrease indent accordingly from this two icon for the orientation you select the drop down here right and then you click on this format cell alignment now because this indentation is already there you don't see any other option so you have to reset it okay so if i reset this and then select this drop down here now you will see that i can change it to vertical or rotate text up so if i change it to ver vertical you will see that the text has been changed to vertical right similarly I can cho choose rotate text up right or rotate text down so the way we want to align the text I can choose it from these shortcuts here so this is one of the way then there are options about the wrap text and merging and centering the text so say for example I have this particular text which is in this cell right so I copy this sample text 8 and pasted it here okay so when we say merge and center let me reduce this so what will happen is if I merge these two cells with this option merging and centering if you click on the drop down here you have merge and center you have merge across merge cells and unmerge cell right so I can merge different cells and make them one cell so I can select both of these cells and if I click on this you will see that merging cell only keeps the upper left value and discards the other value okay so if I click on okay you will see the left value will remain and rest of the value will go away but this will merge this whole cell and it will discard the another cell value okay if we choose other option you will see that merge across let me undo that so if i say undo and select that and i'll say merge across you will see that the same thing it will merge across and it will make it as single cell here and the rest value will go away okay similarly the other option is merge cells same thing 
and then you have this unmerge. So if I say merge cell, then it will just merge the cell and remove the next cell value. Okay, so usually merge cell you use, say for example, you're creating a simple, you know, sort of a report and at the header, you want to basically merge couple of cells. There are certain values in first column, second column, but the these columns are related and the heading you want to merge and make it at center. So what you will do is if, say for example, there is no text here, I just want to merge these two cell and make this heading at the center and then they, these are the sub column or subheading of this parent heading so that's where merge and center will help okay now this is the alignment section in the ribbon if you want to go to the advanced details of the alignment this is the icon either you can click on this it will open this alignment section of the format cell or you can simply right click on any of the cells and click on format cell it will open the same window now here this is the advanced section wherein you can work with any sort of alignment so text alignment you can choose from the drop down here you can vertically choose and you can also control the text so you can shrink or merge or text control and then the text direction as well whether you want it from left to right or right to left so say for example i want right to left i can choose that and then the orientation as well if i want to change the orientation say for example i want the text to be at 45 degree i can choose that through this little arrow here or i can simply type in or use these icons to increase and decrease the degrees i'll click ok and you will see this particular text has been oriented accordingly so this is about the advanced alignment details i can click on this icon here and it will open the same window to basically control or format the values within the cells here according to the alignment so i can choose any sort of alignment here from the drop downs and indentation i can choose from here and click on ok and accordingly the formatted the text will be formatted accordingly whatever we chose in the advanced section of the alignment right so briefly these icons here will be really handy for you to align the text within the excel cells but if you want to go to the advanced details then simply go to this alignment settings and this window will open and you can work with the advanced alignment settings however these should be enough for you to work with any sort of alignment details for the text within excel so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching